I want to show you one of the ways how to build Mendocino motor in this video. We need a shaft 3cm thick, I took it from a CD-ROM. We need to fix the shaft in a wood block. We have to do this to grind out our rotor without a lace, but using a drill and chisel. Here we have 26 mm over and 45 mm at length. Now we have to glue solar panels to the shaft. It is handy to use cotton patterns. I bought the solar panels at AliExpress. There is a link in description to the video. I attach the panels with silicone glue. We need a wire 0.3 mm thick for motor winding. Now you can see the first winding of 100 turns. We wind the second one likewise. We need to wind it in the same direction, clockwise or anticlockwise. Now I want to show you connection by the example of the first winding. Number 1 is the beginning of the winding, number 2 is the ending. The second winding is connected likewise to the second pair of the solar panels. We need ring shaped neodymium magnets to make magnet bearings. We need to find proper interval between the magnets by an experimental approach, by which our rotor is the most stable. We can make aluminium cantilever brackets if we know the interval. At this experimental stand I found the interval between the cantilever brackets and the tailstock and magnets. The body will be built of plastic and aluminum. You can do simple kindle of metal turning works using a drill and angle grinder. As a result we get a bronze tailstock. Now we may proceed to the final building hub of the Mendocino motor. As you can see the motor works perfectly even when the weather is cloudy, but when it is sunny it turns like crazy. The motor work even in room lighting and it can be a good accessory of your work table. In description to the video I will leave some links to everything what I used while building this motor, if there is somebody who wants to build Mendocino motor. I hope you enjoyed my DIY project, see you later.